Baker says it's fall, but here in the valley, with so many plants that thrive in the winter sunshine, it's almost like a kind of second spring, if yeah, you will. Yeah, everybody else plants in the spring. We do in the fall. And Rich Dahlquist is here to give us some ideas on what to plant now. We we'll quickly transition from the hot summer months to the cooler, chilly winter months, and we want to add a little color to our garden. So we're here with Bruce Solomon from Baker Nursery. How are you? Doing well. Some great tips for some hardy plants with some color that we want to put in the ground around the house. Sure. This time of year, we're using a lot of things like our flowering cabbage, uh, snapdragons, foxglove, dianthus. Uh, pansies, petunias, those are all good choices for the winter. Now how about something that's a little bit more, it doesn't really do well with the cold, because we're going to get some cold temperatures coming up here in the next couple of months. Yeah, generally uh, we get some frosts and maybe even a hard freeze. Uh, some that are a little more sensitive we might put in pots so we can move them into the protection. Geraniums are great in pots, good for this time of year. And it seems like this time of year we don't have to water them as much as well too. True, not as much maintenance on pots. Now we're talking about color. We also want to use some things, some herbs for the kitchen too. The winter months coming up. What are some herbs that we can plant? Sure, a lot of good things for the winter. Might be uh, parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. A good thing to get these things started too is what? What's the key? Uh, well, use a good potting soil. If you're doing them in containers, that usually is a well-drained mix that has some organic fertilizer included, and that'll be enough to get them started off. These take a lot of sunshine too. I would say full sun on most herbs in the winter. And another key to it, a little organic pesticide is what? Uh, we could do natural deterrents like onions or chives or marigolds uh, if we wanted to spray them with a little something, a mild soapy water solution. Perfect. Some great tips. Thank you so much, Bruce. You're welcome. And get outside, enjoy this wonderful weather, and add a little color around the house. Back to you guys in the studio.